Good morning, Saugus. I am Wesley Cunningham, and today is Friday, September 6th. And I'm Parker Long, and this is SNN. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd let you know what the shortest English sentence ever created using all the letters of the alphabet is. Western Union developed the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, as a test for the telex operators, and it's 35 letters long. However, it isn't the shortest English sentence ever created using all the letters of the alphabet. That honor belongs to the sentence, Jack Dawes loves my big sphinx of corks, which was authored by an anonymous scholar and it, it is just 31 letters long. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All juniors and seniors that want to leave campus during the student lunch hour must present their student IDs in order to get out. If you do not have your ID, you will not be allowed to leave campus until lunch is over. All 9th and 10th graders that need to be dismissed from campus during the student lunch hour must be signed up by their parents or legal guardians in the attendance office. The Hart District College and Career Fair will be taking place on Tuesday, September 7th at West Ranch High School from 5 to 7.30 p.m. There will be over 100 college representatives at the fair and a large variety of career pathways in the career exposition. There will also be, be, there will also be speakers presenting on the career readiness and on the college search process. The fair is free and open to all Hart District students and parents. For more information and... and to register for the fair, go to the website listed below. Homecoming is, is this Saturday from 7 to 11 p.m. Tickets are on sale in the ASB office during the brunch only. The carnival is included in the dance pack. Tickets are $30 with an ASB card, and $35 without, and $40 in cash at the door. Carnival products can be purchased using only carnival currency. Sophomores and juniors can sign up for the PSAT in the ASB office beginning next Monday, September 9th, and continuing to Friday, September 20th. The cost is $25. Payment can be made by cash or card. Checks will not be accepted. Now let's go to Owen Gatlin with your sports news. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Owen Gatlin with your sports news. The homecoming game is tonight at College of the Canyons versus Redondo, Redondo Union. The game will begin at 7. The Blue Crew theme is 80s workout. Cross Country competes in the Cool Breeze Invitational today at the Brookside Golf Course. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. Boys soccer tryouts will be held at Central Park and will begin on Tuesday, September 10th and run until Thursday, September 19th. Returning players will try out from 2.15 to 3.15 p.m. and new players will try out from 3.15 to 4.30 p.m. The five-on-five -five dodgeball tournament will begin today in the gym at lunch. All teams that turned in sign, all teams that turned in sign-up sheets should be in the gym by 12.30. If you are still interested in playing, come to, if you're still interested in playing, come to the gym with four other friends and you will be added to the schedule. Great prizes like Dodgers World Series tickets and free food will be provided to the winning teams. Don't forget to dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. That's all for me. Now let's go to Roman Rivera with a tutorial on how to use your uh, planner properly. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Roman Rivera reporting for SNN. The planner, which is newly implemented this year, allows students to plan schoolwork and any plans they have in the future. Teachers in all grade levels have been including it into their everyday workflow, encouraging students to use it. Now, let's go to Ms. Telosano and she'll explain how she allows her students to use it. Okay, so the planner is really important to use because it's a way of taking off the stress and thinking about how your day is going to unfold. It's really hard to remember everything that's going on on campus and especially to remember all your homework. 
So it's a place that you can put all that information in and it's all contained in one area. So every single day, every single period, you should be taking out that planner, writing down your homework. And even if you don't have any homework, you should be putting in something like none or a giant X, something that is a placeholder. So that you know that when you get home and you're taking that planner out one more time, that you didn't have any homework for English and you're not having that freak out feeling, did I have anything? I can't really remember. So the biggest anxiety is usually caused by the fact that you feel like things are a little out of your control. And the beauty of the planner is you have total control in there. So you can schedule exactly how your time is being used. You know exactly what you need to do for your homework, for school. You know exactly what time you're gonna be at practice every day. So yes, outside of school academics should also be going in that planner. You know when your dentist appointment is. You know when you're gonna have a family special dinner. All of that should be going in the planner. And the more you write in the planner, the more you start to gain that that control back because now you realize what your time is going to be looking like rather than feeling like I don't know what I need to do if I have a plan in place I now know what I need to do and it alleviates that stress most teachers create a system for their students to follow to allow them to fully use their planners but let's hear how Saga students use it in their everyday life beginning of class I open the planner and write down the homework that's on the board I use my planner, I write down like everything I need to know, like anytime practices are different for because I'm on a basketball team and I, I just use it to organize, I like to make it look pretty. I use my planner to write down the homework that I need to do and the agendas for each day so that if I ever need to know what we did or what we have to do for homework, I can just look in there and see it very easily. Yeah it is because sometimes I think I have a lot of homework but if I look at it and it's kind of all there for me, I don't have to like think about like, oh wait, what was my homework? I do because I'm never having to stress out about what's due today, what's due tomorrow. I just have a place where it's all stored. The planner is a useful tool that helps you manage your time, which allows you to be stress-free. This has been Roman Rivera reporting for us and Thanks Roman. The binder reminder is such a useful tool to stay on top of your workload. Saugus Reach will be hosting college guest speakers through the end of the semester. Any junior or senior student interested in attending can obtain a permission slip from Mrs. Hillstein in Q1715 at lunch. Spots will be limited. Today, the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Science will be on campus. CSF applications are due today and can be turned into Ms. Kalata's teacher mailbox in the front office. Your books are now on sale online and in the ASB office. Books are currently available for the early bird price of $60 with an ASB card and $65 without. Prices will increase for the first time in October. The deadline to purchase senior tributes for yearbook is today. Photos and text for the tributes can be submitted later, but the tributes must be purchased today at the website listed below. Students interested in applying for one of the United States Military Academies are invited to attend the Service Academy night hosted by Congresswoman Katie Hill. The, meeting will, the meetings will be taking place on September 14th at Antelope Valley and September 18th in Moore Park. If you are interested in attending, go to the counseling office for further details. That's all for today. I am Wesley Cunningham. Stay tuned for Resonant Radio and Sogs Today. The rally schedule is posted on Sogs Today. And I'm Parker Long. Have a great day and a great homecoming weekend. We will see you on Monday.